today's video, I am out here at Factory Select Homes in Lugol, South Carolina. I'm touring the Zinnia. It's a Clayton Homes and I can't wait to show it to you. Let's get into the video. Here's one thing that I like about being able to actually come out and see these homes the way that I do. It's nothing like being able to walk around and really take a look at the home to understand how to describe it or how to share it with you guys. So I just want to take a moment to say thank you to the mobile home dealerships who allow me to come out and view the homes. You know, they don't walk with me. They're not monitoring me. They just let me take my time and just give you guys this content. So I really appreciate that. Today we're touring the Zinnia by Clayton Homes is out here at Factory Select in Lugol, South Carolina. The Zinnia is a three bedroom, two bath home. It is uh, reasonably priced. It's a, a nice size for the standard uh, family and I am very excited to show it to you. As always, we are touring the outside of the home first, just to give you an idea of what the curb appeal will look like. Think about what colors you would want this in the home. If you, this is clay on the back and then on the front, the standard vinyl is clay. And then you have a lighter, almost beige color, um, in a different texture on the top. Can't think of what you call the, I think it might be board and batten on the top and then you have standard vinyl in the color clay on the bottom so really nice now we're going to go inside and let you take a look at what the home looks like from the inside all right so this home is going to look kind of familiar you guys it did to me and if you think back to uh maybe a year or so ago i toured the morocco and this is maybe the big sister to the morocco same features and colors, same feature wall, but there are some differences. So if you like the Morocco, but maybe it wasn't as big enough, or you just wanted a somewhat similar house, but a different style, then this is the house for you. So again, this is the Zinnia. This is a view of your living room. It's open to the living room and kitchen. You have your dining room here, so it's always nice when you have an open space, at least for me. Everybody doesn't like the wide open space, but I love it. Here you have your dining room. As you can see, it's got room for a nice size table. Love the slider uh, in here. I can imagine having a nice big patio out back and just entertaining, right? You have a large island in the kitchen, so you're able to see all points of entry and entertain with your eyes on everything really nice really really nice you got lots of storage here in the kitchen pantry storage around the refrigerator which is always nice love it and i love the fact that they have the white cabinets in here but the island is a bluish gray i really like that love it i love when the island is a different color and it's just something about these pops of color that manufacture home dealerships are using uh in their kitchens now that really appeal to me so really nice i also like the fact that this storage space isn't just one big open space you have shelving in here which helps you to keep everything organized. So really well done. Beautiful backsplash behind your stove. Love, love, love the natural tone of this luxury vinyl. And even though there's a sink in the island, you have plenty of space in the island for your kids to do their homework while you're prepping for a meal or while you're entertaining. People can still sit at the island that is always nice. You've got a ceramic top stove here. Wasn't able to open the stove, but I love this stove, you guys. When I'm able to upgrade my appliances, I'm definitely going to get the ceramic top. Now, I can upgrade now. So I should really say when my husband allows me 
to upgrade my appliances. That'll probably be 10 years from now. You know, just being in our home three years. The only reason we upgraded the washer and dryers because they were already uh older when we got here and it was really time but i don't know you guys we'll see you've got this uh nice little like uh i would actually do a drink station here but you got additional storage open shelving over here and even a window that opens this little area uh you you can really decorate it the way you want you can make it like a butler's pantry you can use it for your drink storage but it leads into the utility room so you have your back door there and then your washer and dryer will go on this side and you have open shelving up there for um, your storage you also have space in here for additional things so if you want to put um, your hamper in this area um, you can certainly do that if you want to put a deep freezer opposite that back door you can absolutely do that as well and um, have space for it so really nice so I did want to come back in here and show you what the shelving looks like up top always a plus when you don't have wire shelving when you do have the wood so I wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now this hallway right here actually leads to the additional bedrooms. You know, normally in a manufactured home, you would be able to get down that hallway from the living room. But as you can see from this view, that you can't. There's that feature wall there, the refrigerator's there, and you actually have to go through the kitchen and around the corner to get to the additional bedroom. So right around here and you do have this is where i was talking about putting like a deep freezer or something if you chose you could also put a little office nook right there you have lot, lots of outlets and things and a little desk right there would be perfect and it's a wide enough space but you have your hallway down here where that leads to the additional bedrooms now to the right you have like this jack and jill situation the right door is actually a bedroom. So we'll go in and take a look at that. No carpet in here, you guys, which is always nice. So you have the vinyl flooring in here as well. Really lovely. And then through there is the closet to this bedroom. So you have a walk-in closet. It is missing shelving. I would bring the shelving around to give myself more um, storage space. But overall, a nice closet and a nice size bedroom. Now, next to this bedroom, you have your, um, you have a hall closet here. And then, which would be light for your guests. And then you have another bedroom right here. So the reason I call it a Jack and Jill is because it's in this little tucked away hallway by itself. Normally a Jack and Jill would have a bathroom in the middle, but this one, that's where the hall closet is. So another walk-in closet in this bedroom. This bedroom does look slightly larger. I'll be sure to put the um, measurements on the screen if I have them, but another nice size bedroom. So there you go. You have two bedrooms right here and a hall closet. Across from that bedroom, those bedrooms is your guest bathroom skews the board that is how it travels so that it doesn't damage anything in the shower while it's riding down the highway but they do take that down and get it ready for you but that's your tub and shower combo over there nice size bathroom for this house really lovely really lovely and then you have your fourth and i think i said a three bedroom two bath earlier but this is a four bedroom two bath this is your fourth additional well your third additional bedroom but it's four bedrooms total and another walk-in closet so really nice again it is missing shelving you guys when you get these homes if it doesn't have enough wire, if it gives you wire racks or whatever they give you, if it doesn't have enough storage space for the size of that closet, request it before it pulls off the lot. There were a lot of things that we were able to add. We There were no blinds in this house. 
they added blinds on the lot before this house even moved. So when I received this house, we had blinds at every window. So you absolutely, you have to speak up for yourself. Now, on the opposite end of the house, you have your master. You got one large window in here, bringing in some light. Kind of wish it was two windows in this room. But hey, as you can see from the look of this room, there's a, not a, a lot of natural light in the room anyway. Love, love, love that for this room. Very nice size bedroom. I don't see a closet door. So let's go in the bathroom. Here you've got a nice, uh, you have a nice uh, sink area here. Love, love, love that you have the, the cabinet that mirrors the island in that pretty bluish gray. Um, and then you have the natural tone around the mirrors. You've got storage space and open shelving as well as two drawers in your bathroom. So that's always a plus. And I love the big rectangular sinks in here. So really nice. So that is the double sinks in the master or the primary bathroom. All right. And then behind the door, you have a tub and shower situation. I, I'm really, you know, I used to want it to be separate, but my tub needs to be cleaned real bad. It's so dusty, you guys, from just not even using it at all. I feel like if it was a tub shower combo, I would clean it more. I would use it more. So I don't know. Here's your uh, closet inside the bathroom. This seems to be a thing, you guys. You got a nice window, picture window in here. It doesn't open. You've got your closet right there in the uh, primary bathroom. But it's a nice size closet. So if this is something you're okay with. The Clayton then Home out here at Factory Select Manufactured Homes in Lugol, South Carolina. The name of this home is the Zinnia. The base price of this home is $110,515. If you're interested in this cute little house, all the information is in the description box below. See you guys in the next video.